Yo, 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 yo. Three, what's up, guys? It's two, your boy, uh, Shield Boomer, in wow. case you forgot. And today we're gonna be doing Mists 26. Entry is restricted. No, wait, what is he missed? Ah, oh, god damn it. I screwed up my line. <laughs> I guess we have to doing Streets 26, my bad. Mist Streets, it's all the same, guys. But yeah, basically, just fortified, fortified streets. I'd say, in terms of like, the keys, um, on some keys, I I'd say like, there isn't that much change when you go from fortified to tyrannical and stuff, but actually in every key there is obviously some changes, right? But, uh, I'd say in this one it matters a lot because... Honestly, like, uh, st Streets is kind of turning out to be, like, one of the easier keys at the moment. I don't know if that's just me. L I mean, let me, let me know how you guys feel about Streets. But I feel like Streets is, at the moment... Like, in terms of bosses... Like, first boss is really easy. Um... Smack tanks hard, but as long as you focus the cage and as long as you're not like standing in in like the spinning swords, like Excuse nobody me. should die, right? And then you have what like second boss is uh hard light barrier. It depends what you do second, right? If you do those uh if you do the 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 the, the dancing music boss, that one is free. Um, post is hard, I guess. Post is kind of difficult on, I would say, on tyrannical. On, fo on fortified, it is not that difficult as long as people do explosives. It's not. It's just not. It, it's, it's, it can be, but it's, it's not if you do what you're supposed to. But yeah, basically, what I'm trying to say is, this dungeon is interesting on fortified you gotta pay a lot of attention to these packs first pack especially dangerous when the explosion happens there's a big explosion that takes about like 60 70 percent of everybody's hp if they don't pop defensives and then on top of that you will also get uh, 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 uh you will also get dots on people so you might want to save some cds there especially like if you're not playing priest right you, you might want to use something there if you're like shaman or whatever but if you're playing priest i mean we don't really have any defensive cds for a group we only have yeah, output cds so obviously just if you feel like you need more output i didn't but I, well or did i wait did i him I, I can't remember but yeah you can him there i like to him there sometimes so for the first one i'll channel up the boon and i'll like just let the boon explode and take over the healing but if not, then uh, usually what I will do is I will him just to kind of be safe. Obviously, when you're hymning, you know, make sure you yourself are healthy and pop defensives before him because you are very vulnerable because you cannot move. So, and also keep in mind if you are playing explosive weak and you him, you can't help with explosives. So, you should probably communicate that to your team or they should be paying attention. I mean, I always say. In my opinion, explosives are absolutely. Uh, a collective effort I, I hate the notion that it's just a healer's job there are situations in which healers cannot spare a global cd and in those cases it is better for a dps to sacrifice one global cd than people dying in my opinion because in my opinion people surviving is always going to be the biggest d d d dps increase right like there's no way your one global cd is mo more worth it than like the whole group potentially dying to an explosive so, um, that being said though, that being said, you should do most of the explosives, let's just be clear. I, I will say guys, in these higher keys, I mean look at how many explosives I'm doing. Uh, just take a look if you want to, I, I maybe I'll show it at the end of the dungeon, I know sometimes I show, but oftentimes I forget. Uh, I'll be doing about, mm, between 87 to 95% of the explosives, which basically means like I'll have about 170, 180 depending on which dungeon you're doing. And like, the, the next okay. best person in my group will have like 20 and that will usually be a melee dps like from what i know monks don't really lose much um as far as i remember and also like rogues don't mind doing it too much hunters don't really mind but sometimes they complain um basically any class that has a global cd preferably without a cooldown that they do not need in their DPS rotation that is capable of one-shotting explosives can do explosives efficiently. 
Here you wanna... That jump was really stupid for me, by the way. But yeah, here you just wanna make sure your, uh... Your line of sighting, basically. Um... Line of sighting the pulse. Uh, it's kinda... Weird sometimes to see when he's gonna do it. You just kinda have to get a feel for it. I, I still am not 100% certain. Uh, it's like... It's like every like 20 seconds or so, so yeah, just be, just be, sh make sure like usually you can ask warlocks to make a gate if they're, if they're, you know, smart, if not then tank will position the boss in a way where you can hit it without, like, without being too far and then you can just go there. You can also survive it, like it's not that big of a deal, it, it hurts though, it, it does hurt and if the whole group gets hit, I, I, I can definitely see you dying to that uh, on higher keys, it's a, uh, it's a big, 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 uh, Big ouchie. It, it's a big ouchie for sure. It, it hurts a lot. Uh, but yeah, um, here we have uh, first boss, Zofax. This boss is is really really easy. So I'm I'm actually not gonna I'm not gonna say too much about it. There is really like one thing I will say though is from what I've talked with tanks, tank friends and stuff, like this boss apparently hits very hard. Now of course if you have a good tank who is a DK, they probably won't need too much help. I'm not sure about no. monks and DHs, I think they need a little bit more help, simply because they lack the self-sustain in the sing in the single target scenarios, but I think overall all tanks are fine handling this boss, they just might need a little bit more, a little bit less help. You, you kind of want to... When he does the... When he gets buffed, when he gets... He has a moment where he gets buffed. I, I forgot what the, 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 the ability is called. He'll, he'll go very strong and... When he does that and when he starts smacking a tank and if he's not casting anything else, that's when your tank is in danger. So you might wanna like keep in... Keep Serenity for tank. Because realistically nobody else should be taking damage here. The only other damage sources in this fight are basically interrogation. That's where you will need high spot healing for the person that gets uh, into a containment cell and containment the second cell. thing you might be needing to heal is actually when you get these silences you actually do kind of get hit quite hard so like make sure people are topped up before that ability comes out you know maybe somebody had to walk through circles or something so yeah just be just be mindful you can also keep uh, guardian spirit so i've had like situations where somebody gets silenced and they're they're like pick up weapon you know the one the weapon that you have to pick up to get unsilenced will end up in the spinning blades if that happens i would do my best to like keep that person alive and if you're playing a tyrannical key, you probably should guardian spirit the person that silenced just in case, because they're gonna be already low. And then with your heals, they will be full. But if they have to walk through blades, these blades actually do kind of hurt. Oh, oh, I walked back into it. Okay, that was so weird. I was gonna say, oh my god, that was so close, but I actually walked back into it. That was kind of, and yeah, that's just sloppy from me, honestly. That, that just a, it's a, it's a mistake. It's. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of embarrassing. I don't know why I moved back actually like I moved right I moved perfectly fine But then I tried to kind of like wiggle back. I don't know what I was thinking uh, Maybe it was a misclick or something that that was actually really weird But you know it happens it happens to everybody from time to time uh, <laughs> Right guys it, ha it happens right 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 I, I hope I hope it happens hope I'm not the only idiot that he's done something like this uh, But yeah here like try to dispel people now, of course, uh, I'm a little bit behind here because uh, I don't have flash concentration stacks anymore because I died and also like, uh, you know, you also gotta do explosives and stuff. Honestly, this guy, these guys did a pretty decent job at covering for me with explosives. Uh, uh, I like to see that, you know, I like to see that when I die, like, the, the whole group doesn't like explode the same second because that's usually a bad, like, it's a bad sign. It, it kind of shows that people aren't aware of what's happening. But yeah, we've done we've done a good we've done a good job here overall as a group, I would say. Yeah. Also, yeah, I really gotta get a, like a weak aura that tells me to use my infinity augment rune. Um, if I don't have it, I, I gotta like if somebody has like a good weak aura, like I, I'd actually like if you guys could link it to me or something. Because because like uh, oftentimes if I die and I get rezzed and then I focus on a fight, I'll, I'll I'll very often forget. I'm usually good at being aware of buffs, but on some days you know you're just kind of like a little bit on an autopilot and the cruising cruising and just kind of forget. All right, so since we are on fortified key, guys, here be very very focused, please. 
please. Like, I know some people will go left, some people prefer to go right. It is, uh, it all depends, like, what your group wants to do. But these guys are actually very scary. They hurt tank quite a bit. They also have these, like, mines they can place on the floor. And on top of that, they also have a debuff that can go on... Yeah, see, that's the that's debuff. If that debuff isn't, isn't dispelled, that will one-shot you, I think, even on Tyrannical Key. It's a very high explosion. Now, we are blessed, because, guys, we're, we're, we're priests. We have this ability called Mass Dispel. Mass Dispel is a very strong ability, guys. Don't underestimate... Mass Dispel is really strong. It's it's a it's a very good ability, guys. You can do so many things with it, and I think I, I think I'll have an opportunity to showcase just how useful it can be in specific scenarios. So like, uh, so many like mechanics you can kind of get by with mass dispel, whereas other healers would have to struggle and like dispel one, off. heal the other, and stuff like that. It's just something to keep in mind. Don't forget that you have a mass dispel. If multiple people get it, look at that. Look at that. Just mass dispel. Easy. And now we have another dispel. If needed. Obviously, you want to make sure that these are interrupted. If you're playing in a coordinated group, you know. Make sure you're communicating to your team, like, so they can prioritize inter like interrupts properly, right? Because, you know, obviously if you're playing with priests, you can kind of let one rotation of them go through. And then just mass dispel it, but then no, no other can go through and stuff like that. It's, it's all about... Yeah, I mean, if you're playing in a coordinated group, you probably know all of these things already, so... You don't need my advice. Yeah, and here I actually didn't see him. <clears throat> I broke his. I let him broke his chip. Chip that. I, I didn't. I don't think. Was it on cooldown or did I just not see it? I think it was because the weak aura for the PI has kind of bamboozled me a little bit. It it, it made his uh, frame grow, so I couldn't see the the dispel. And yeah, see that power of mass dispel. Just mass dispel. Lol. Easy. Here, be careful. You know, when the bombs start raging, you just want to make sure that tank is. You know. You're paying attention to the tank when mobs start raging. I always kind of like prefer to overheal tank because let's face it, like I'd rather cast two extra heals that might not be necessary than like two smites. I mean, two smites are good damage, but it, you know, I feel like my 3000 damage is not really gonna change the key, but tank dying can be really bad. Mises Oasis, the most intoxicating establishment in Tazavesh, gaining the owner's favor. Will secure a cartel house signature. Maybe help in acquiring Zoe's signature. Somebody help! This place is a disaster! Wait, who is that? Where is Basim? Open cage. Open cage. Empowered. Yeah, so here, big pool. You line of sight here, usually. Um... I don't really think this pool was done properly. I think we kind of messed it up. But it, 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 it will work well enough, I think. Here we get a burst that almost went through. Luckily, Tank was paying attention. Um, you might notice, guys, I'm not really utilizing Kyrian, Kyrian Boon here that much. I am being kind of lazy uh, with it. It's not lazy, it's just that sometimes it feels really bad to press it and then not be able to do damage because i'm i'm just doing like in these big pulls i'm just doing so much like explosives that i really do not have any gcds to spare in all honesty like there's just not enough uh not enough like time and here really good like recognition from the group that a little bit of extra healing is needed so these guys have have taken care of the explosives that's a that's like a big props to them it's really nice to see these sort of things and here we get uh MS invis that is uh yeah for you i offer only the Open cage. Come, friend may i tempt you with my that is like um everything has value i think for the rogue to do the event yeah yeah okay so he did go okay never mind i got confused cuz uh, for some reason i thought the rogue is here sorry i was also reading chat so i got distracted <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny <laughs> right all right okay so like uh these open cages uh, it's kind of nice if you interrupt them i actually hate these like chickens and dogs they're actually kind of dangerous i don't recommend letting open cage go through because these these extra guys they don't give you any percentage they're just extra annoyance and extra damage you need to do so i'd, I'd strongly suggest like stunning open cage and also junk mail is dangerous on fortified weeks especially with raging you know 
raging plus junk mail and you might be you know you might get clapped so gotta be careful a little bit gotta be careful here is something you can do it's pretty smart uh you know you can banish this guy basically because you wanna you wanna have him for the haste buff right and you want to kill him right as a right as you're about to pull the boss see here i would already pull the boss and you just go but yeah see i told them i'm focusing on healing telling them that i'll do the they'll they have to do the bombs and the reason i'm doing this is because i've already failed a few keys where i felt like i had to pick up the bombs or i wanted to pick up the bombs but then either somebody dies due to lack of healing or um or i or i simply like i'm not able to make it in time to both heal and uh and do the bombs it is just very very like difficult uh, it's physically like uh, tough and here you gotta be careful with her in combination with that aoe it, that's a very scary combo you you just gotta be mindful i think tanks need to kind of pay attention there to face her in the other direction but yeah that's uh, uh I, I failed the key because of that once already here I'm booning, but Ur is carrying us. Also, one thing I want to note, if you paid attention, I mass dispelled the, the debuff, guys. It's That's very important, by the way. That debuff. Uh, before... Uh, uh, before uh, fan mail, uh, you, you gotta make sure... Yeah, when he starts channeling fan mail, you gotta make sure that all the debuffs are dispelled. Otherwise, people are gonna melt away. Uh, and here I'm going with the uh, divine him. Actually, it was kind of kind of close to be honest. Uh, we luckily had like a good uh, good block there. A little bit of good RNG is needed in these things, you know. And here, what I sh what I should have done is I could have channeled the symbol a little bit, you know. So we so I give them the reset. So you know, Rogue gets his uh, block back. Mage would get his block back. Well, actually, they wouldn't get it back, but you know, speed it up a bit. But yeah, here, nice little fan mail. No biggie. I have desperate prayer. I have my fade. We have all the CDs. Uh, I don't know why Warlock isn't popping his Infernal. But yeah, he's probably doing explosives. But yeah, basically, as you can see, pretty chill boss on Fortified. As I said, this this boss is like the only I think the only like boss that really causes people a lot of issues. And I think that's just because people kind of. I don't say people are lazy, but they just kind of think somebody else will do it. But if you're playing a mobility class, there's really no excuse for you not to be doing explosives. Like, you gotta understand, like, a healer can't do it because healer needs to heal on this boss a lot. Uh, as you can see, like, I've done 12k HPS on 45 week on a boss. That's a lot. Uh, that's that's one of the higher HPSs you'll need for bosses on 45 weeks um and also it's very bursty right it's not like consistent damage it's just bursty from all all over like all, all around and then you have like uh you have like situations where um i don't know i've seen like hunters rogues they're not doing explosives in my opinion at least there's no excuse not to be doing explosives is my is my point basically so you know, I feel like if you guys are, you know, getting to heal, like, on lower keys, if you feel comfortable, you can do one, maybe even two explosives. But there is one explosive set where it's a, it's a really bad overlap with, like, soak, explosives, and then fan mail right after explosives get spawned. And there, I feel like it's really hard to do it. And the problem is, if you do it in the first set, they will think, okay, so we, we got this. Like, you know, I don't need to do it as much. Because think about it, like, if you, in the first set, you do it once and it works, why would you do it, like, three times in the second set, right? So I just prefer to not do it at all. Like, if I know I can't do it on one of the following sets, I just prefer to not do it at all. Unless, like, I'm, you know, unless I'm in a group where I can clearly, like, see that people are aware of what's going on, which is... Believe it or not, guys, it's much rarer than you think. Usually people are just kind of paying attention to what they're doing. They're very... It's crazy how some players are, are really, 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 really unaware of others. Including me sometimes. It happens to me sometimes. Sometimes I'll just be thinking, like, about what I'm doing, you know, my damage, my healing, and I'm not, gonna, I'm not even looking at, like, what's happening. But as a healer, you're naturally more inclined to kind of be aware of situations, whereas as a DPSer... You know, why Why would you need to know, like, if DK has a defensive or something, right? Like, you don't care. Why, why would you care? Like, it, it's not it's not your job, right? So, uh, that way of thinking is very dangerous, by the way, on fire keys. You kind of... 
on higher keys you kind of have to be aware of things the more things you're aware of the higher chance you have of making a good decision i, th I, I think that's the best way to put it like the more information you get you have at your disposal the more equipped you are to make a proper decision you know sometimes people don't make bad decisions they just don't have all the necessary informations you know for example if you're supposed to soak something or not right like you, you might not go for the soak because you think okay oh this guy's got it but what if he doesn't have defensives or something if you knew he doesn't have defenses, you would go and soak it and stuff like that. It's like, I'm just trying to give like a silly example, by the way, because this boss is really like boring and like there's not much to see here, guys. So I'm just kind of like talking about things in general. I hope, uh, hope, hope maybe it helps somebody at least a little bit, you know, and that's why as a healer, like I've noticed like on some like uh, good like teams for, for M plus pushing, pushing and stuff, uh, I've noticed that a lot of the times, um, like healers will make the calls or tanks it's kind of like inter interchangeable because because dps players like they're just kind of i feel like they're naturally more focused on dealing damage that was a really bad overlap by the way so uh, no, no shame for on, on, on warlock for dying that that was like a really weird one i don't think i've ever seen that before that, that was like a super super weird uh, uh but yeah it's like um it's kind of like, I don't know, DPS players are just usually, don't, don't get me wrong guys, I'm not, I'm not flaming here or something like that, that's not, it's not what, what we're doing here. Uh, I'm just saying, I'm just telling you like kind of factually how it is, like usually DPS players are more focused on, you know, organizing their, their CDs, they're focused on interrupts and uh, CC, right? Because that's very, 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 like, uh, uh, very difficult, by the way, on higher keys. Sometimes you will have packs of, like, 10 mobs and you don't want them to do, like, a single cast. So naturally, doing, like, doing, like, uh, do good damage while managing to CC all of these things does require, like, pretty high coordination, you know? You gotta be like, you're stunning this, I'm interrupting this, okay, I got this, uh... I'm stunning this guy, now do AoE stun, now do AoE fear and stuff like that. That's why, like, oft oftentimes, like, I've, I've heard people, like, actually complain about me helping with interrupts and stuff. Weirdly enough, I don't know. Uh, like, I've done a key key recently. Actually, not even one key. This happened in, like, two or three keys recently. Where I've had people message me after the key and be like, yo, like, uh... Like, it's, it's good that you're, like, trying to help with the fears and stuns, but you're actually kind of fucking us because... Yeah, I don't really understand why. I feel like it's always better to help than not, especially in pugs when you can't really trust everybody to, you know, make the right call all the time and like have, you know, perfect uh, coordination and interrupts and stuff. But obviously, if you're playing like with a pre made, um, if you're playing with a pre made and they, they don't want you to do it, obviously, you shouldn't. Do it. Yeah, there's no way, no reason for me not to boon here. I'm just kind of being, I'm, I'm just kind of like being a little bit, uh, forgetful because i was okay. telling them about the explosives so i, I just forgot to, to boon basically but yeah as you've seen like we can't do explosives here on the other side so they have to do it you can just do damage here tanks should be able to survive this if not i would say you can get up like this yeah and then you can like uh when when there when the link expires you can go up you can give him a gs or a few heals and then go or, or defensive anything you got depending on what class you're playing and then go back to, to your side and just kind of you know link back up i think that's like a good i think that's a good good thing to do i don't have a target Power kick. This pack, I, I don't, I, I don't understand this pack. I think, I think, you're supposed to be stacked here, so these guys don't like uh, jump on you. But I, I, I just kind of forgot, and I think I get killed here if I remember correctly. I think I actually get one shot. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's just kind of my bad. It's I, I don't know why, but this pack is usually for me very confusing. Uh, this this is a good pull. Power kick. It, it's a good pull. I just uh, I, I just well, I just didn't really realize what I'm supposed to be doing. It's it's kind of my bad. You're right. I'll take this res. 
uh, and then I'll stack up properly. I think it's I think it's just like these guys are jumping and they'll. Uh, we can also get interrupted, so I guess uh, I don't really know what the best way to do deal with that is. I think you just stack and it's free. But I I, I tend to not stack unless I have to, and I, I die again here. I, I don't really I don't really understand honestly, guys. Like I just don't get this. I don't get this. I felt like I was stacked, but he still went on me and he killed me. I guess uh, unlucky. I guess unlucky. Uh, and here, yeah, I, I even wanted to check like what killed me. I mean, I mean, I know what killed me. Dude, I actually got meleeed by Ur. At least it says so. That's kind of that's kind of unlucky. I don't know Ur. Like aggro on these uh, encrypted has been like all over the place for me, in my opinion, at least. Yeah, here they got into combat, so they couldn't summon me. They said they will, but they didn't. So I, I, I'll just like go back. Zai has a profitable venture. Hopefully, this inclines them to aid our own. What I need is a distraction, the kind with sharp teeth. All right, this boss is quite simple, guys. I mean, just help as much as you can with damage. If you get the soak thing, go soak. <laughs> don't get uh, hit by like the Venn diagram circles. That kind of sucks, so don't be that guy. Uh, they're very easy to dodge. Like Just stand on the edge of the one and then move as it's about to explode and then move back into the empty space that's that, that got like created. It's... I don't know, it's such a simple mechanic. I've seen people die to it. It's it's, it's really not that complicated. It is a little bit tight, so you need to just be on point, but it's... It, it, yeah, it's very simple. Like, look at this. You just stand out of the initial circle and then move into the empty space. You have about two seconds. It's not the most time in the world, but it's more than enough, in my opinion. Right, and here... Um, here, you know, this boss is... This boss is kind of free the first one and then you have the second one he's kind of scary on tyrannical keys uh you want to make sure that you have some defensives for the tank buddy here because it, it can get quite scary here you should ask uh, warlock to help you dispel warlocks have dispel so they can basically just do the other dispel it's kind of similar to how you they do in spires of ascension you know warlocks will dispel one of those uh those dot thingies that leave the, the the mark on the floor i forgot what it's called but uh, you know one will get dispelled by warlock and you'll dispel the other one you can also mass dispel if you for some weird reason don't have warlock in your group you can just mass dispel it and it's fine yeah this guy by the way he can hit really hard when he does this uh what is it called it's one of the protocols but i mean every ability on him is called protocol it's not venting protocol it's I think it's flagellation protocol where he hits the tank hard. He goes like, bzzz, doop, 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 doop. Yeah, that's the one where you just kind of have to like pay attention to the tank. Protocol. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Yeah, so that's the one where he just punches the the shit out of tank. So be careful there. Just make sure you're healing the tank. Here again, one dispel you, other dispel warlock or the class that got it can use a defensive. On fortified shouldn't be an issue on tyrannical it might actually be kind of scary but i think you can still survive it it's not like insane amount of damage here just run against it you know use your feather uh, make sure you're actually a de decent distance away because that ability can suck you in uh very quickly as priests we're slow we don't have mobility so just make sure you're on point respect the mechanic always respect the mechanics guys uh unless you know exactly what you're doing 
But I guess if you know exactly what you're doing, there's no real point in you watching this video. So, uh, yeah, respect the mechanics, guys. Respect the mechanics. Always. Don't don't be cocky. Don't be like, oh, yeah, I'll be fine. And then you get sucked in and then it's like, oh, sorry. You know, it's these little things sometimes that matter. I don't know how to explain this, but... Doing a 25 is basically like doing a 20 with extra steps. Uh... It's just, it's just being a little bit more careful and doing a little bit more damage and healing and kind of like knowing. Don't get me wrong, 20s and 25s are like heaven and hell. They're, they're completely different beasts, but the fundamentally, fundamentally the, the gap between the two is not as insane as some might think. Uh, I hope we caught you, you don't really reinvent the wheel in a 25, 26, even 30s. Actually, in 30s, you do kind of reinvent the wheel in a way, because you gotta find very smart ways to overcome the overwhelming damage. But I would say in 25s, it's still within the realm of normality. You're still doing your normal things work. You just have to do them a little bit faster and a little bit better. But yeah, this boss, this boss is just quite... <laughs> it's 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 a simple boss for us as priests really it's just follow the group heal people deal damage there's really not much you can do you know just look at the shuri you know follow follow your group or actually even be the one that you know leads the group if you want to if you feel like you're a quick thinker i sometimes do a good job with shuri but sometimes i really lack like the awareness to do it i don't know it kind of depends on like how where i am mentally and how tired i am Sometimes I'll pop off and I'll like solve all the shuris within a second. Sometimes I, I'm like, oh, where do I go, where do I go? And then by the time I figure out where to go, it's actually kind of too late. So yeah, just do damage. As you can see, it's pretty freaky. Uh, sorry, pretty free boss. It's not that complicated. I was waiting for Ul here and then I'm just going to blast him. And here I got cocked actually. That's annoying, but it is what it is. You know, it happens. I guess don't do that. You know, if you know there's divide coming, don't, don't pop your CDs. That's kind of dumb. Yeah, guys, uh, that, that's it for this boss. Uh, I want to say thank you all for watching. Thanks for, you know, supporting the channel. I would really appreciate it if, uh, you know, if you liked what you're seeing, you know, like the video. Feel free to leave a comment, you know, maybe subscribe if you're feeling extra crazy. Let me know what you think about the content. Let me know if you think there's something I can improve uh, in, in any sphere of things like uh, video quality, audio quality, um, play better, talk better, whatever it is, guys. You know, any feedback is always appreciated. It helps me improve th these videos for you guys so you guys can enjoy them better. I plan to do some guides as soon as season four starts. I've, I've said this for season three as well, but my motivation for YouTube has been really low uh like during season three for some reason but now i'm back i kind of want to do more videos i'm really excited about the next patch as well dragon flight has been looking pretty good in my opinion evoker has been pretty fun from what i'm seeing and i'm excited for the next expansion so i'll i'll be i'll be doing some some guides for you guys next uh next season because i don't want to make guides now when if things might change next season that's basically what where i'm at so i don't want to like make a detailed guide about something that doesn't isn't even true as soon as like the patch hits so yeah i'll, I'll just uh here we should have committed to the boss but i don't know what we were doing but yeah it's i guess it's better to be safe than sorry to be fair so i, I respect this i respect this but yeah thank you guys for watching really appreciate it uh and yeah see you in the next video bye bye Solia may have a head start, but her echo remains, an echo we can follow.